Hi there, and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for joining us on the channel today and checking out this episode. First thing we're going to do is, I'm just going to move this car out of the way to there so we can see you. Right, well, first off, before we get any further, hope you all had a great Christmas and enjoyed the, the holiday, uh, the festive season, and you're all looking forward to New Year. So if I don't post up another video before then, Happy New Year and all the best to all our viewers and subscribers for 2023. Well, basically, Happy New Year to everyone. Um, so with that out of the way, we're going to get on with this. So this has just arrived, which is a Jegs whole shot stadium truck. Now, this has come in from America at a stupid price. And, and stupid as I mean cheap. This was basically a $50 truck. And uh, I couldn't pass up the chance of getting it. And um, I'll say, so yeah, $50. Uh, and the only thing is it uh, obviously had the uh, postage to the UK plus the import charges. So even still, a, a ready to run truck with everything minus battery and charger, it was £100. Don't think you can go too wrong with that at all. So essentially, apart from the uh, postage and the, uh, the customs, 50 Fifty dollar, you know, fifty pound truck, fantastic. Um, also, you might be wondering, well, I've got my uh, Genova G-Force there as well. So anyway, I'm going to fold this down a minute, and I will get to that in a minute. But basically, what happened is someone had commented on my Genova G-Force video, saying, "Oh, this is uh, on the the Jegs Stinger chassis, and they're selling these off at uh, fifty dollars." So I thought, well, well I, we'll check that out because uh, we were aware that this is shares the same chassis. And I thought, well, if I can pick one up at $50 uh, and then import it over here, I've got a ton of spares for my uh, Genova G-Force. Because if you want to get these, they're tricky to get anyway, these, because you can only get them basically uh, Amazon Japan or import them from Japan or, you know, basically anything like that. I mean, well, I think you can get them through eBay America as well. But, you know, they're a lot of money. Um, so I thought, well, if I can, uh, you know, get a ton of spares for this and not much money, I will. So anyway, I went on to the Jegs eBay shop and they had the whole shot, which you've got here, the Stinger. And they do a monster truck as well, but they didn't have any um, left. But they did have a few of these left. And I could have gone with the Stinger buggy because um, it's exactly, well, it's not exactly, but it's pretty much the same there. Um, but I thought, why not get this, the stadium truck? Because it means I can get a whole car to get in uh, to review and show you driving about. And after that, I'm just going to treat it really as spares for this because it does share a lot of parts. So, I mean, that was almost a complete, utter steal, even with, of course, importing it to the UK. Right. OK, so before we get into the... Uh, the, the details of uh, you know how similar these are. Let's uh, have a look at it. So as it says, Jegs whole shot stadium truck, one tenth stadium truck, five fifty brush motor, two wheel drive, two point four gigahertz radio. Um, yeah, so fantastic. So let's whip the box off. There. Now I have obviously been in this because I wanted to look at the manual, so I'll pull all that out. Sorry for the noise. Hey, truck. I want that as well. <laughs> okay. I was, saying, I was hoping this won't be a long video, but it's probably going to end up being a slightly longer one. Right, so let's put all that there in a sec. So that is what you get. A uh, Jegs two-wheel drive stadium shot. At uh, stadium shot. Uh, <laughs> thinking of uh, Damien then. Uh, the Jegs two-wheel drive whole shot stadium truck. Now that body shell is, I think it's pretty much identical to the HPIE Firestorm. And uh, looking at this truck, it does share uh, a lot of similarities with the Firestorm. 
uh, chuck. So uh, yeah, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, I think the chassis is slightly different than the front bulkhead and the uh, front and rear arms, but so there is a, clearly a massive uh, <laughs> sort of influence there. So you can almost call it a clone of the HPI E Firestorm. But that is what you get. Now, again, if you've seen my Genova video, if you haven't, I'll put that link to that in the description. There is the inside of your truck. There's the underneath there. So, essentially, it is the same as that buggy with uh, taller shock towers, longer front and rear wishbones, and uh, longer shocks, certainly at the front. Uh, although this comes with fixed links, not adjustable turnbuckles, which you get on the Genova. Uh, other differences, well, obviously wheels and tyres because it's a stadium truck. Body mounts are different. Um, in this, you do get a slipper clutch, but um, it's 32 DP. And it's like a 32 DP, so it's going to be pretty robust. Um, and it's like a 12 turn pinion, 12 turn, 12 turn pinion. The Genova G-Force has a 48 DP uh, slipper clutch and that came with about a 23 tooth pinion. So uh, yeah, slightly um, better sort of slipper clutch in there for racing. This one's a bit more probably built for more durability. I mean, the things like a tank, look at the wishbones on that. They're so thick. It's uh, yeah, pretty beefy. Now we're gonna chop and change here. This is cool, this is what came in with it. Um, a little bit of a newspaper with all the um, things that JEGS do. Now JEGS are not, for anyone who doesn't know in the UK, certainly JEGS are not a hobby uh, company. They don't make radio controlled cars. They are a US automotive um, you know, place where you can buy parts for your cars, uh, stuff for restoring cars, work tools, things like that. Um, so that's what JEGS is. Now, obviously, they've bought in a line of RC cars and rebranded them under the JEGS name. So, right, uh, it's actually 2.4 gig handset. I'm not really going to look at that. We'll, we'll look at that when we actually run this. And then you've got your instructions for the radio set uh, in there. Some basic tools and some shock collars there. And then we've got our manual for it. Pretty basic. It, it just gives you an expl um, exploded parts diagram and the tools and how to get your truck up and running. So pretty simple stuff. Um, you know, how to operate your car. Uh, you know, there's your exploded diagrams. Now I checked in the Genova manual and they are very similar, although it does show a difference in the pinion gears and the slipper clutch, because I say they're different. And you also get there your JEGS decal sheet, which is cool. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just whip off the shell on the Genova. So, oh, take that off. I did think maybe with it being the stadium truck, a lot of stadium trucks tend to have a slightly longer chassis than their buggy uh, derivatives, but this one doesn't. It shares the exact same chassis length. Um, it's not the end of the world, it means I've got spares for this buggy. Okay, so as you can see, Genova. Uh, G-Force, and then you've got the um, JEGS hole shot. So if you look at that there, identical chassis. You can see, like that. Uh, same radio box, chassis layout, everything's the same there. I say this has obviously got buggy shock towers and uh, wishbones for it as well. Also this has bearings all round and it's got the universal drive shafts in where the JEG stinger and hole shot um, again have uh, brass, brass, <laughs> brass bushings and just normal dog dog bone drive shafts of course this doesn't come ready to run this one you've got to assemble this one does so you get a 550 motor I think it might be something like a 12 or a 15 turn not entirely sure and then you've got a uh, so I think it's uh, basically a hobby wing ESC is it a 1040 or the, yeah 1040 and so you can take this up to 3S LiPo, 2 to 3S LiPo, run NIMS, jeans connector on there. Um, so yeah now there are quite a few videos of these 
on the US um, YouTube channel, which is uh, what you expect because uh, they would have gotten a lot easier. But I thought I had to get one of these to show you guys and girls, and also I've got some spares. So we're going to be getting this running, which is cool, uh, hopefully very soon, and we'll see what it's like. I'm well looking forward to it. And with it being uh, built pretty much like a tank, um, I'm quite happy to throw this around, I think. <laughs> Hey, but it, it's cool, it's cool. So um, one thing I wanted to mention is the fact that obviously when this G-Force came out, a lot of people said, oh, that was a clone of the um, the Jeg Stinger. Now, I, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm just making a, a guess and an assumption. I don't know. So if anyone can actually correct me, uh, please let me know. I'm just wondering, did G-Force or whoever made this chassis originally, did they then... Uh, did then Jegs buy the rights to use that, just rebrand it, and um, you know, maybe they're out before the G Forces, Genovas, but um, yeah, they had sold them under the Jegs brand, and that's why they're, they're the same. And maybe people thought that's why the uh, the Jegs Stingers and Hole Shots were out first, and the G Force was the clone. But to me, sort of looking at it, I think more work went into the, the G Force. And um, maybe, again, I say Jegs bought the rights to uh, use their chassis design and designs and then just rebranded it for that. I don't know. Just guessing. I I'm just making that assumption because, as I said, Jegs aren't a um, RC brand as such. They get in, you know, RC cars, rebrand them under the Jegs name. So their monster truck that they do is based on the Sen Racing monster truck. I think it's called, the, they did two, and one's called the Torch off the top of my head as well. So, yeah, it looks like that's what they're doing. They're getting in um, pre-existing designs and rebranding them under the, the Jegs uh, name. Anyway, uh, I'm super happy that I've basically got a ready-to-run truck all the way from the US um, for £50. And then, obviously, import and postage, another 50 quid. But for, um, that's a cheap cheap ready to run even at that money um so yeah so i just wanted to show you them too again and um we're gonna plan on getting this running very soon if i've missed anything uh please let me know in the comments as always cheers for checking this video out much appreciated as always uh say so look after yourselves and take care if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the Andy Robinson RC YouTube channel. Come find us on Facebook and Instagram as well, under Andy Robinson RC. And we'll catch you on the next video. And also as well, have a great new year. Hope you enjoy it, whatever you're doing. Uh, look after yourselves and all the best for 2023. We'll see you very soon. See you later. Bye.